have the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, back with another quick hit. Sorry I didn't. I only got to one show today. Uh, that is that is my bad. We usually do two, two every day. Um, sorry about that. Had a... Let me get the light on too. There we go. Had a little delay today. Um, wasn't feeling well. Um, so I only got to one show today, but it is a good one. We're going to have a good episode today. Uh, first off, some housekeeping. Uh, the Joe Smith Jr. last off fight is off. Last off, unfortunately, tested COVID positive, so that fight will not be going down. We were looking forward to that. We did a show, our last reaction on, on Joe Smith and, and how far he's come. But today, we got a good show, Virgil Ortiz. Um, his promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, says Virgil Ortiz will beat anybody at 147 right now. On the verge of superstardom, and that is today's topic. Uh, Virgil Ortiz, first of all, the 16 0, 16 knockouts. Uh, the talent is incredible. Uh, Virgil Ortiz is the quintessential kind of perfect come forward boxer puncher. Um, He's knocked out everyone. His resume already for 16 fights in is really good. He's got a decent resume for anyone in the welterweight division right now. Uh, at barely 20, uh, he's 22 years old. So he's already beaten Vargas, Orozco, Mauricio Herrera, Robert Ortiz, and he's got a win over Brad Solomon. So he's got you know a handful of high caliber wins. Um, those names are a far cry from Terrence Crawford, the name that he's being linked to, uh, a fight that Rick Morangan and, and, and uh, MTK Global says he wants. Oscar now says he's ready for everyone, which would obviously uh, include Terrence Crawford. Obviously, there's the old Dallas fight with uh, Spence down the road, which he wants. He says which will probably happen at 154 because the t- by the time they can make that work and sell out Cowboy Stadium, you know, he said Crawford, uh, Spence will likely have out, uh, outgrown the division, to, but he believes that fight will happen. He believes they owe it to Dallas. They owe it to the Metroplex. Um, and uh, that fight will happen. It will happen with what? Now he has another fight, another all Dallas matchup with Maurice Mighty Mo Hooker. It was going to be an offensive juggernaut. That fight's going to be a fun fight. Uh, we're taking Virgil Ortiz in that fight, and we want to get into a little bit about what makes Virgil Ortiz so special. Um, first off, his trainer, Robert Garcia, runs the best camp in boxing. He says Bam Rodriguez is the best fighter in the camp, and we're going to do a show event.
Um, he's got the style for it. He's got the strength and the size. I think he can keep Porter because he's just as strong as Porter, probably stronger. He can keep Porter at the end of his punches. He can outbox Garcia. He can outbox Keith Thurman. Terrence Crawford, I think, has seen his better days. I, I think Crawford would be a tough fight, but I get I would favor Virgil Ortiz to be anyone in this division with the long attempt and possibly Spence because Spence can match him for strength. Spence, Spence can match him for size. If he gets into a boxing match with Crawford, Virgil Ortiz has too much firepower. Uh, I don't I don't think Crawford's best weight is 147, but that's his third weight class. And I think his best days are behind him. I think if they fought right now, advantage Virgil Ortiz. The only guy at 147 who I would say he's may, maybe not ready for, maybe never will be, is Errol Spence. Uh, Spence is, if they go on the inside, he doesn't want to do that. Spence can box with him from the outside. Um, that's the tough fight. That's the fight we all want to see. I, I think we get the Terrence Crawford fight before the end of this year. I, I think we're going to have a changing of the guard, which means we're going to miss out on Crawford Spence. Uh, but we're going to have a new king in the division, and that's uh, Virgil Ortiz. He's just too perfect, guys. You, you watch him. You remember watching him 18, 19 years old? You knew right away. This is special. This is not like something we've seen before. Oscar says he's the next superstar. That's the skills and talent are all there. Now it's only up to Oscar to make him a star. It's up to Oscar and MTK and Rick Moraine to make this talent, this all-world special elite talent, into the next superstar. Because the skills are all there. At 22 years old, he can beat Terrence Crawford, who, who ESPN puts number one pound for pound. Right? He's there already. He's a special gifted fighter who you knew all along. He's the perfect po box puncher. He's the hardest worker calling to Robert Garcia, who's with him every day. He's freakishly strong to go along with the footwork and the insane power. There's nothing not to like about this guy. He's on a collision course with Boots Enos down the road, but he also has Crawford and, and Spence. And he's going to have all the fights to make him a ton of money. Uh, he's a special talent, and his kid's time is right now. Um, let me know what y'all think. Like and subscribe. Again, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. We give you content twice a day. Uh, from Texas, well, follow me on all forms social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, uh, on all forms there. If this is the kind of content that you like, please share with a friend. Please share, um, like, and subscribe, and share on all forms social media. Um, it is February 11th, 2021. Unfortunately, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. We need to get uh, Iron Boy in, in the class of 2021. Um, make sure that happens uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.